For my risking rejection today, I just decided to ready, fire, aim on a new meetup that has been bubbling around my head for some time now, and I've just been, I've been, it's been kind of stuck in the dream stage, or not really stuck, but that's where I've kept it, and I think the quicker that I get it out there and share it with the world, um, the, the more real it's going to get, and, and the faster things will start moving. So I just decided to launch the spiral the Spirable Meetup Group. Um, Spirable is a very, it's an almost an obsolete term for capable of being breathed. And that's kind of the tone that I want to set for, for, the, for the community and for the meetups. And that is that the things that are shared are not complex things that must be broken down and understood and, and, um, logically integrated on, on several levels and that require following steps to in order to get value from them. It's just I wanna I wanna create a community where people can just share things. They get into a point of view where, where what they're sharing is is things that inspire them and things that, that bring out their greatest self and things that that the call to them and that they're passionate about. It's not about figuring out the truth behind ancient problems or anything along that degree. It's simply about giving yourself the fuel to be inspired. And, um, and, and so on that level, I think finding ways to, to look at the world and look at your life from a perspective of appreciation is huge um, because it, appreciation is the fuel for inspiration. The more you appreciate, the more you can see that thing you appreciate as something to to play with and to expand upon and to grow with, and and it's 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 those things that we that appre that we appreciate that inspire us. Things that we don't appreciate can motivate us to to do certain things out, out of fear or out of whatever it is we want to. Some, some sort of outcome we want to avoid, but the things we appreciate, the things that we aspire to, those are what carry us to our greatest potential and to, into bigger and better things. And, and so I want to, I just want to create an environment that's free. Um, I call it a free community for inspiring your greatest self or highest self, something, something along those lines. And it's just, it's just people who want to connect with other People who are ready to just embrace the possibility rather than um, point out all the things that could go wrong, or rather than point out all the things that you need to do or have to do in order to live a right or proper life. This is not about carving out one way of living. It's about allowing diverse people to get into the same room and to just share their passion at a level where it can be appreciated sheerly because of the passion that's coming out of someone. And, and when you create that passionate, inspirational environment where everything is designed just to, to uplift the mood and feeling and tenor of the room, then who knows where the conversation might go. And that's what I want to experiment with and experiment with creating and experiment with facilitating and, and just see where it goes. So if this sounds like something that appeals to you, um, feel free to join the meetup group or contact me or leave a comment or anything along those lines. I'll post a link to the meetup group below this video. But, um, yeah, if, if, you, if you feel like this is something for you and if you feel like you are ready to uh, be a little more gentle with yourself, be a little more um, forgiving, be... be and expose yourself to things that will inspire you and that might make you less comfortable with where you are in terms of being content with, with circumstances that, that aren't really serving you and, and more likely to begin asking for more for yourself. And, and so if that appeals for you, I'm appealing to you to, to join and, 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 to, and to bring the gift of who you are to, to a community and to connect with, with people who, who can bring out your greatest self and can help empower you and, and help keep you in a place that feels really good to you. And um, it's, it, it'll be interesting. I've never started a group from scratch, and, and I just want to really build it around the intention of not trying to figure out 
what what's right and what's wrong and try to figure out what, what we need to do to, to do whatever, but to just allow the group to grow and to allow ourselves to to be passionate and be inspired and and and, and just dream and grow and see where it takes us.